Well, this is the living legend, Jimmy Cliff, with the mighty crown. Mighty crown, fiery ruler. Yo, this is mighty crown, fiery ruler. はい、ということで、マイティークラウンドットコムをご覧の皆さん、はい、最近のサミティのインタビューシリーズでございますけど、えっ、ー、とですね、今回のゲストは、マイアミのキングであるワギティをお迎えして、えっ、ー、と、始めたいと思います。King of Miami is here. I'm gonna start off with some basic questions.、Um, well, I would like to know your background,、um, how you start getting involved in the business and stuff like that. I mean, how old are you, which part you born, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, let's start then. Born in Jamaica,、um, Spanish town, grew up. I think I go to St. George's College for a couple of years in Kingston. Then I migrate. My family, my, my parents, we, we went to live in Miami in 1977. Okay. And okay, that's backtrack a l i t t l e When I go to school, St. George's, that's when the music thing starts. Instead of me just 100% concentrating on doing my schoolwork. You know, then go the, then on this, I play some music. You know, but like that, you know. And when I r e a c h l a n d in Miami, you know, that's where I fully started getting involved more of playing and arranging myself in, say, like, you、um, know, the school. Okay, but, Can adapt to this.、Mm-hmm. And I started listening to disco music at that era, you know, Saturday night, fever, and,、yeah. and then I started hearing the music blend, hear the mixing, and I'm like, you know, you never hear it like that way, it's bleed over.、Mm-hmm. In Jamaica, they used to use like a little box to flip from phone on one, phone on two, but there was no blend, it was just boom, you catch a beat, and you know. The next. Okay. Tune. So, when you migrate right,、yeah. to Miami,、mm-hmm. what age were you at that time? Like, 11, 11 year or 12, yeah. Okay, so that was you kind of in a young age then. y e a h you went to. Yeah. So, before that, you were in Jamaica yeah. basically, yeah. and then from Miami, no. So, so as a.、Um, So you were 12, and how old are you now? You see, I'm going to be 50. 50.、Mm-hmm. See, the history talk itself, man. <laughs>、um, so basically, and then how many years as、um, Waggy T now?、Um, um, my name, I got that name. Well, first of all, how did you get that name? Okay.、Um, my first, when we were going to high school in Miami,、mm-hmm. my first in them, okay. I used to dance a little. Okay. You know,、uh, soul train and all that stuff was on. I, I, you know, I used to do the robot and all、oh, these、oh. things and <laughs> whatever. There was a dance at the time, 1978,、mm. 79, called The Dog.、Mm. Mm, it, it was, you know, but wag. Your tail, you know.、Uh, I said, no,、oh, that n o t sound right. So I kind of flip it to Waggy T. Okay. That's how Waggy T came about. I, I don't talk this too much because back then when I used to clash,、mm. then that would be a card. Because、uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know they associate Chinese with certain、yeah. things. And... Okay, so that's how you get your name. name.、Um, <laughs> As a career now, as a、yes. Wagiti, as a professional DJ, I should、yeah. say. Like,、um, it's, been, that's, it's been 36 years? Well, yeah.、Um, yeah, it's 36. 36 years.、Mm-hmm. So, like, how do you, can you give me like a brief, like how you started off as Wagiti? Okay. Well, as usual, this is how I tell the young ones. Doing house parties.、Mm-hmm. 
birthday, anniversary, and stuff. Then from that level, I went. Um, back then, they didn't have nightclubs that associate with reggae. So mm -hmm. you rent a hall, a, a venue, and they would throw reggae parties. So I would be like a like a tag on where I know the people. So I would just get in, uh, carry my little box of records and things and yo come do a little early set or whatever and that's how I got my practice apart from practicing at home mm. then my name started connecting because then there, there was um all these sound man or, or what would allow me mm. to, to at the events do a set around. There was no like, yo, no, no love the unity or what. And that's how I got my play and everybody, and, you know, I, I find a few so, sound selector, radio personality people. Mm -hmm. So I got in like in that way where I was kind of grown school with everyone. So when they throw in a party, Okay, I would so get invited to come. Awesome. Not necessarily that my name was on the flyer yet because mm -hmm. I wasn't yeah. top bit. I was still learning. But, yeah. you, you, but you still get yeah. people call you for play. play. Yeah. So right. since when you like so those are the days of records. Records. Vinyl, yeah. Vinyl, right? Disco 45, 7 inch. You know, I didn't know about double it. When how did you like like, did your father have a collection, or when? How did you start collecting? I have an older brother and an older sister. Okay. And they used to buy and collect records weekly. Mm. Then, I, as a youth, I would save my little lunch money to mm. and uh, buy a one record here, two records. There. I couldn't like, buy a stack yet. Mm. And, you know, you little lunch money and things. And then from there, when as I said, when I came. To Miami, mm -hmm. where now I started buying records weekly and stuff and collecting until I wrote in the 80s now that's where I learned I went back now mm -hmm. to say no I have to learn the history mm -hmm. about what I'm doing See. and that's where I started listening to Studio One mm -hmm. Treasure Isle and even my favorite label at the time was well, Channel One because you know Chinese, Okim them and Joe Gibbs mm -hmm. and so on and I started you know, apart from that I was buying disco music too. Disco music. Yes. Cause you know, living in Miami and stuff and plus our culture where in Jamaica, you know, we don't just play reggae, we you yeah. balance and play a little funky mm -hmm. disco in and stuff so I've learned that and I adapted it and also like soul's music. So exactly well that you know that's priority mm -hmm. when you're growing up in the 70s and stuff. Soul music play a big role in a car, you know. Even if it's a a, a, a dreadlocks or you know a whole and bee mm -hmm. and, you know, and thing at a certain part of the night and, and thing. So you have to include soul music in you said okay so um well you're based in miami now so basically you're born born in jamaica yeah and then you kind of being raised it's kind of politics you know uh, why we migrated to miami because the politics you know in jamaica there are two parties yeah exactly the rivals the, the bell the, and the power and, uh, and, uh, there was a lot of where I live in Spanish town, a lot of shootout and, see, and see. conflict and so on and that's why my parents say yo we have to kinda of find somewhere else because we don't know when right after yeah. you know a certain thing going to happen. So that's where we kinda of went because Miami is like Jamaica. Yeah, Same it's weather very close, yeah, right? sir, so, and very close. So if something happens we can go back to Jamaica. You know, hunting. But eventually, I we just adapted and say, "Yo, we are still Miami." Talk. A lot of Jamaicans start migrating and coming to Miami too. So we kind of, you know, integrated in the so like Miami is like a little Jamaica. See, <laughs> well, Miami is very close, right? Like, as yeah, as like what, an hour, ten, hour, twenty minutes. Uh -huh. And then now you're based in Miami, though. Mm -hmm. 
um, what do you feel like the difference between Jamaica and Miami and maybe I should say New York and the rest of the world in in, play, in our music in, yeah music yeah well we kind of create a little party vibes called Miami South Beach mm-hmm. kind exactly. of how that you know nightclub energy dance party so Miami I think is like party central mm-hmm. in, in, in the whole United States uh, yeah we know about New York but yo Miami for the past couple of years yeah, a number uh, I don't care what nobody say everybody come to Miami to party <laughs> right now all over the world until that's that's I think that's a little different in Jamaica no I, I, I it, we kind of adapt some things from Jamaica, but some of the things they do in Jamaica don't really work in, in, in Miami because we have a cross section of people, it's not just Jamaicans yeah. alone we are catering to, See. or playing for, or trying to make, enjoy themselves. So we have to kind of tweak it a little uh-huh. and adapt. And some of the music, like the more one drop mm, political tunes don't really get that love to say you know in miami it's more the party dance vibes and the, the lovers rap mm. kind of one drop that make it you know not saying one and two you know yeah. babylon tune and thing and thing because we kind of you know flip it uh-huh. and make it work for the system so